Hello everyone! Welcome po sa ating Daily Mana. Sa panahon natin ngayon, parati po natin narinig yung salitang worldly or yung pagiging makamundo. And oftentimes, those are people that we think that is very much attached to the world. But for us who believes in God's word, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin na ito para sa atin na mga naniniwala sa Panginoon? Today, I just want to invite you to open your Bibles with me in James chapter 4, verse 4. The word of the Lord says, Do you not know that friendship with the world is an enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Oftentimes today, we use the word worldly to describe those people who speak and who has those actions that are non-religious. Or oftentimes we think that those people who are worldly are those people who are very attached to those things of the world. But for us and the Word of God, here James described the three dangers of what worldliness means for us Christians. And for us, worldliness should not be our focus, but we should focus on God. And the first thing that James is emphasizing here is that worldliness causes us to fight one another. Tayo daw po ay nag when we start to become worldliness. Because when we look at being worldliness, it means being able to compare ourselves with those people around us. In James chapter 4, verses 1 and 2, you would see James there emphasizing kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng pagiging worldly. And you would see that when there are people who become worldly, they start comparing themselves to other people. Bakit wala akong ganun? Bakit hindi yan yung nasa akin? Bakit di kami ganyan? And with that, comparing ourselves, it steals the joy of being a Christian, of being contented with the world. And the second thing that James mentioned here is that worldliness causes us to boast about tomorrow. It says in verses 14 to 16, What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, If the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance, and all such boasting is evil. You see, when we are excited of something, oftentimes we think that out of these things, we take gratitude or we take credit out of those things. But James is telling us that when we do it out of the worldliness that we have, it causes us to boast about tomorrow. To remind us that our lives and our accomplishments are not of our own, but it is of God. And so therefore, we should not boast about it because the source of those things, our victories, our accomplishments, ay hindi po galing sa atin, kundi galing sa Panginoon natin. Therefore, wala pong tayo pwedeng maipagmayabang because everything that we have right now is according to God's grace through Him and by Him in our lives. And the third thing that James is pointing out here is that worldliness causes us to mistreat others. It says in verses 1 and 4, Come now, you rich, weep and howl for the miseries that are coming upon you. Behold the wages of the laborers who move your fields which you kept back by fraud are crying out against you. And the cries of the harvest have reached the ears of the Lord of your hosts. You see, worldliness means we put ourselves before God and before others. And sometimes we no longer notice when someone is in need. And as a result, we actually do it by mistreating other people and thinking that we are more important than those people around us. But you see, that is not our call as a church. That is not our calling as a community of believers. Hindi po tayo dapat mag-mistreat ng ibang tao or to treat them lowly just because we think we are higher than them. And so, you see, these three warnings that James is telling us is that as Christians, we should not be situated or we should not actually allow ourselves to be worldly. But we as Christians, Jesus allowed us to be the light of this world so that you and me can bring the light of Jesus Christ to those people who need His light. So my question for us today is that where are we yielding? Are we yielding towards the world? Masyado po ba tayo naging makamundo ngayon sa araw natin na ito? Or are we yielding towards Jesus Christ? And are we exemplifying the Christ-likeness that we have 
in our life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I hope and pray that in our world today, and in our time today, and as Christians, we will exemplify more of Christ-likeness and less of the world in our lives. Allow me to pray for you. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we praise and thank you. Maraming salamat po sa araw na ito na binigay niyo sa amin. Salamat, Panginoon, because you have reminded us that it is not your will for us to yield towards the world, but it is always your will for us to yield towards you. So Lord, tulungan mo kami araw-araw, tulungan mo kami, Lord, sa bawat panahon to always come to you, to always depend on you sa lahat ng bagay. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, because we know and we feel your presence here with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Magandang umaga po.